<laughs> Unlike apparently me, so. You're right. <laughs> okay. Something we feel is really important for this course is including a reflection on everything that you do. And a reflection is not a summary of what we did. So a lot of times, sometimes I'll get students saying, we did GarageBand today, and I really like Google Spreadsheets. They're awesome. It's like, that's, that's great. That belongs in your notes. That's what you did. But what are you going to do with that information? I can use GarageBand to create podcasts for my students, which then would benefit them when they are outside of class. And give specific lesson plan ideas. Brainstorm. It can be in a casual tone, but it needs to be deep, critical thinking. Not just tell me what you learned or that it was really cool, but it needs to really include how it's going to be used. What ideas did you have? What did it spark for you? Original thought. That's a really good point, especially what, what you brought up about critical thinking, Alice, because um, that's really what we want to see evidence of in your, in your reflective writing. Uh, not just, as Alice said, we, we don't want to see uh, just a description or um, a, a restatement, a summary of what we did, or even just a, um, kind of a feeling about it. I really like today's class, something like that. That's not really meaningful. And it doesn't really contribute to your developing ideas about what makes good teaching and learning. That's really what we want you to build throughout this whole course is, is what we call a statement of your own pedagogy. What do you believe is important about teaching and learning? Um, as we go, you'll find out that there are different things that each of us believe that, it's, that are pretty easy to identify based on how we do things differently in class. And that's what we want you to come up with. You need to be able to have reasons why you do what you do as a teacher. And by capturing these ideas in your reflections, all this will become clear and you'll be able to articulate a really clear statement. I'll just throw one more thing in is, is I love failure. Um, I think it's important to try something and fail and learn from your mistakes. And so that's where the reflection part really comes in is like, I did this, but I would like to do it better. That's a, a, another great way to reflect.